We're back here at the beginning of this month, and I want to take the time with you today to speak about a subject that is very important. The eyes of the Lord are turning across this country now, and many of you are worried about your families. You're worried about your families coming to Jesus Christ. You're worried about the condition of their lives. You know, you should be worried about those things because the fact is, is many of us, we say that we're Christians, but we spend our time filling our houses with things. There are so many things within most American homes. But see, if your house and your influence in that home is not Jesus Christ himself, you can actually fail to be a godly influence on those you want to see come to Jesus Christ. Many of us have cried out for years, Oh God, save my family! Oh God, bring them in! But the first place that it happens is when you yourself believe God the way that you're supposed to and begin to obey the scripture, knowing Jesus Christ like you never have before in your life. See, so many of us, we expect God just to save our family, save our family. But we have a bad influence on our family even at the house or even the church has a bad influence on our family. We are going to give an account for our relationship with Jesus and how we've influenced those in our lives. So today, at, on this month, I want to take the time and talk to you about household salvation. I want you to understand that God is working to try to get your family saved. We're going to begin to go through scripture about what is the requirement for us. What do we have to do for God to move on our family? I'm so excited about this message. I can't wait to go over this with you this month so that you can learn the principles of what it takes to see people that you love come to the gospel. The gospel is a powerful thing because it transforms a man or a woman or a child from the inside out and begins to make God rule in their lives. I want to go to the scripture text today. It's in Jeremiah 31, 15 through 17. Jeremiah 31, 15 through 17. Listen as I read. Thus saith the Lord, a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation, and bitter weeping. Ra Rahel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children, because they were not. Thus saith the Lord, Refrain thy voice from weeping, and thine ear eyes from tears. For thy work shall be rewarded, for thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. And there is hope in thine end, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again, to their, own, to their own border. I want you to understand today that crying does not move God. A bunch of bawling and feeling sorry for the condition of your family does not change anything. But you need to quit weeping and begin to understand you've not lost everything. You need to begin to understand that your work is going to be rewarded. Your work in the kingdom of God, your time spent serving the Lord, waking up every morning in the spirit of the Holy Spirit, working, waking up every morning in the fruit of the Spirit. God is going to honor it. He's going to honor it. I love this because their children were carried off to the land of the enemy and there's so many of our seed and our family that's being carried off by the delusional Antichrist spirit. We need to begin to serve the Lord more adamantly, more fervently. We need to return to the house of God. There, God will meet us. And as he meets you and I in the house of God, he will begin to bring your family back from the land of the enemy. <laughs> a lot of them are being destroyed by the enemy. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ comes to give life. But what you don't understand is that the life of Christ must flow through you. And we are rewarded when we obey God concerning our family. I'm going to read one more scripture before we pray, okay? Let's go there. Hebrews 11, 7. You need to understand that there is a restoration that the Lord desires in your whole house. But it will not come without preparation and cost. Are you praying in the Spirit? Are you fasting? Are you running your household the way God said? Are you stopping evil spirits from coming in your house? Every head of the house needs to listen to me. You are influencing your children. Spirits are coming across those TV sets. Uh, demonic activity is happening when you turn to other things instead of to God. It's influencing your children. Let's look at what Noah did to save his whole house. Uh, Hebrews 11.7 By faith Noah, being warned from God 
of things as not yet seen, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. The question today is not about those that are not saved. It's about what you are doing to prepare an ark for them. Your relationship with God is an ark that can prepare your whole family to be saved. That's why Satan fights your relationship with God. That's why it seems so hard sometimes. Because if he takes you out, who's going to stand in the gap for your family? Let's pray today. Heavenly Father, I come in agreement with them, God. For their whole household, God. I come in agreement right now. Every demonic influence would be broken. I thank you, Holy Spirit. You move right now through the individual watching this clip and that you would let them desire and believe for household salvation. We thank you, God, that their life would come in line like never before with an urgency and a passion to stop these spirits from taking the people we love. I thank you, God, you assist us, you help us with holy living. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, I'll see you next Monday. The next Monday Minute, we'll continue this study on household salvation, what's required to get God to move in our house. Um, if you want this CD, I have it um, here. It's a sermon, a deeper study on it. And this month, I'm going to offer it for $7 again. Um, this is the Household Salvation Sermon, and I know you're really going to enjoy it. Um, uh, the back of it simply says, there's an all-out war on the family waging in the United States. It, it, the, Satan's decide to wage war on your family. The destruction of the family unit is one of Satan's top priorities. Um, there's other stuff on the back. You want to get this, really want to get this CD, this sermon. If you go to ferventfire.com, give us your information. This month, starting March, all the way to the 31st, we'll get this in your hand. You can give a love donation of $7. We'll send it. Why the donation? Because we are able to send it. If you request it for free, I'll always send it. I just want to get this word of God in your hand. It's important. The word changes things. I love you so much. See you next Monday Minute.